One of the easiest and rewarding dog boredom busters is to go on a snafari walk. You want to come on a snafari with me? <laughs> now this isn't the same as a typical loose leash walk and if your dog is hyperactive or reactive there are some important things you should know so stick around right to the end for the full snafari scoop. All right let's do it. In the simplest terms, a snafari walk is a leashed walk in an open space where your dog essentially decides where to go, unless it's not safe, of course. Using a harness that attaches at the back, they lead and you follow while you encourage them to sniff. If your dog is easygoing and not a puller, then you can use a long line to give them a bit more space. If your dog is still learning leash manners, or if you need a bit more control, then you can use a leash clipped to both front and back. The point of a snafari is to let the dog explore at his own pace and use his sense of smell to take in a world of information that only your dog can perceive. Sniffing is excellent enrichment for dogs. Dogs are naturally attracted to new and interesting odors. While we might notice someone's fresh perfume in a small room, a dog's sense of smell can be powerful enough to detect the same aroma in an enclosed stadium. Dogs can also detect scents from the recent or not so recent past and can also determine the direction of a scent. Incidentally, a dog's sense of smell can detect fear, stress, or sickness in humans because dogs can even sense our hormonal changes. So needless to say, giving your dog opportunities to sniff can be very rewarding and enhancing to their lives. If you use a long line, I really don't recommend using a retractable leash. First of all, it doesn't allow your dog to walk loosely on the leash, and secondly, the thin cords on some of these leashes are often not very strong and can get wound up on you and your dog if your dog bolts. They can also break. If you do lose control of one of these leashes and it retracts onto the dog, the leash can really scare your dog. If you encounter another dog that reacts to your dog, you may find that you don't have control. The leash is a tool that we can use to communicate with our dog and we want to keep it loose most of the time unless we're changing direction. Also, you want to choose an area where other dogs can't rush up to your dog and where there are not a lot of other people or dogs nearby. Sometimes there are green spaces away from main park areas, school playgrounds, or even some parking lots. Giving your dog a chance to sniff doesn't mean that your dog gets to run around dragging you everywhere. If your dog is really excited or overstimulated, then try somewhere quieter or more familiar or just give it a break until next time. For your mellower dog in a more isolated area, a long line works great. You can use a 10 or 15 foot line or more depending on how much control you have and how likely you are to run into other dogs or people. For your active or reactive dog that likes to do everything in fast motion, I recommend using a double clip leash like this one. If I can find the products that I currently use, I'll link to them below. If you don't have a double clip harness, then check out the video on harnesses at the end of this video so you know what to look for. There are many harnesses available now that have both front and back clips. Always bring your treatos. Every outing is an opportunity to mark and treat. So even though Fido might be busy sniffing, there will always be chances to practice marking and treating distractions yes. with a yes before your dog decides that the distraction is a big deal. And always mix this up with marking nothing so that your dog doesn't start thinking that every mark means something important is about to happen. Skeen gets very excited on our outings and he doesn't usually want to take treats. I still let him direct the walk, but my rule is that if he pulls, I stop and let him sniff until he gives me eye contact. At that point, we might do a circle or change of direction so that he breaks focus with distractions, but his reward is to pick the direction that we're heading. It's a back and forth communication that we've both come to enjoy. Don't forget to scout the ground for garbage or other substances that you don't want your dog eating or walking into, and be aware of wildlife so that you don't have any unpleasant encounters. Also, while your dog enjoys sniffing, stay aware of who or what is in your vicinity so that you can call your dog back if you need to. On, and don't let your dog rush up to other people or their pets. A snafari can also give us humans a chance to unwind and to get to know our dog better. Have fun on your snafari and don't forget to watch this video.